and welcome to Kenic. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best scanners for Audi that you can do active tests or be directional control. So if you're looking at scanner, a full system scanner that can scan all the vehicle systems, but not only that, but can test things. For example, you can actuate the window motor so you can figure out, do I have a bad switch or I have a motor? You know, you can actuate the fuel pump. You can actuate the, the wipers, the headlights, the uh, let's say the ABS wheels. Um, as, I'm sorry, the ABS pump, so you can do ABS bleeding. So this is the Ucanic scanner, and not only works on pretty much all cars out there, over 95% of cars worldwide, but it can do bidirectional controls, and uh, you know we offer free lifetime updates as well. So it's very easy, and intuitive. You'd go to Diagnostics, you'll select Audi, you do Smart VIN to pick up the model, or you can manually select the model. Then you go to Control Modules, and we're going to look at some of the active tests that are available. Now there's a lot of uh, different control modules. This is the 2021 Audi Q5, and this has over what 63 control modules. A lot of these control modules have active tests inside them. So if we connect to the let's say engine control system, um, then you'll see we can read codes, we can clear them, we can look at live data. But most importantly, you can do active tests. So we can activate things. We can activate the fuel pump. Uh, we can activate a number of things on there. So let's take a look at that uh, So you can see active uh, read codes once you read them You can have the option to clear them as well live data ECU information You can see what hardware what software you have on this car and so on uh, But active test is what we're interested in and then you can do things like turn off fuel injectors You can turn on and off fuel pump electronics uh Leak detection pump, you can turn on cooling fans, main relay on and off, uh, coolant pump, you can turn off, you can see all these um, turbocharger recirculating valve, you can turn that on and off. So you can see all these functions, okay? So you can select any of them and you can activate it, um, whatever. Now, this for some of them might be preconditions, for some of them it might be uh, that you don't need to uh, you can't have any full codes presence uh, or for example the engine needs to be running or not running depending on what tests you're doing uh, let's see let's go to uh, actually I want to go to the ABS um, control unit so we have over here we enter ABS control system I could say control unit but it's the same just different wording used by different manufacturers so you can see here the different valves you can activate the brake lamps um, apply the brakes you can do that right from the scanner and all these are bidirectional tests that you can run okay let's go look at another control unit um, I would like let's look at this central electronic control system for example now keep in mind that you if you might go into some um, control units like airbag control system there's not a whole lot of um, active tests in there because I mean other what you're gonna do like you're not gonna blow up the airbags so that's not a test so there's some control units might not have as many tests but these ones for example uh, this uh, central electronic control system you can see what you can do in here you can turn on the axillary fan go descent lamp uh, this is basically where you can test a lot of uh, low beams for example you know headlights you can go start and then without time limit I just like to put 30 seconds with time limit run a test for like five or ten seconds so the the low beams turn on i didn't turn on them with the switch i turn them on from here once i'm done you can press stop the, the low beams turn off so you know that could be good like we were trying to figure out is the switch is defective why or is there something going on with the low beams you know these are the different activations tests that you can run once you enter the central electronic control system you know, interior lights, um, fans, all these would be under here. Now, if you went to another control unit, for example, there's a lot of tests in here. I'm gonna AC clutch can be uh, tested from here. From washing, you know, the wipers, headlight, if you have that function. And I'm gonna go through this. There's a lot of uh, active or big directional tests under this uh, control module because this control module controls pretty much so many things on an Audi 
um, footwell lightning and so on but you have other so I'm gonna exit the central electronic control module but you have other uh, steering column instrument cluster you can go under instrument cluster let's see if this one has any active tests in here you know and then you can you'd be able to test the instrument cluster in there let me check this really quick active test we do um, I'm gonna see if I can show you something this function is not supported on this model let me see what other uh, we have indication lamps so for example on this one um, we're testing the gong you can go to start uh, volume I'm gonna change it to 8 and then you can change whatever sound you want to play and then you can hear that and then you can stop it and that's how you can run some active or bidirectional tests on the instrument cluster again every control unit uh, is going to have its own active test and not every single one of them does have active tests there might be some that don't or there might be some tests that don't apply to your specific model so keep that in mind but uh, you do have a number of active tests now uh, there is also a maintenance function on this from the home screen and if you were trying to do things like uh, reset the electronic parking brakes uh, you know do reset steering angle sensor and all you'll come in here for those functions but active tests you want to go to diagnostics select your make model and then enter the control unit that controls whatever you are trying to run the active test on and that's it thank you for watching mechanic where you can be the mechanic